Good to have you back with us on the cafe. Not only is Anna Stretton the founder of her own fashion label, she's also a highly successful New Zealand businesswoman, an author, a speaker, a philanthropist, many things. But her latest passion is helping everyday New Zealand women reach their potential and beat self-doubt. Welcome, Anna. Hi, Mel. Really nice to have you in the studio with us. Yeah, no, it's neat to be here. Now, I was reading about your new project, Live Life in Colour. It sounds fascinating. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, I mean, people naturally assume it's a fashion show. Show. Um, and whilst there's, and I think it's because of the colour and the drama that attaches to our label, but um, whilst there's elements of fashion, um, it's pretty much, it's, it's more about getting women to think about how they can do more, how they can be more. So it really doesn't matter where you're at in life. I think that all of us can contribute at a higher level. So, but I, I do believe that women tend to take a bit of a back seat. Um, we tend to have that sort of last cab off the rank mentality. So I'm getting women to think a little bit differently about the one life that we all get. What inspired you to do this, Anna? I've always been working alongside women um, and wanting to actually get them to uh, make positive change to their lives. And I think RAW, which is the, the charitable initiative that I set up sort of a couple of years ago where I work with the um, socially disadvantaged, so essentially um, RAW's workers in the prisons with women that are in recidivist repeat patterns of offending. Um, and from there, that kind of became my catalyst to sort of think about how I could apply this in general, because I found that as much as I was working with these women that were had been incarcerated most of their lives I also found that a lot of women were almost incarcerated into their lives as well and very nervous about making change very nervous about taking risks very nervous about um, you know looking at opportunities and you know we get one go at this life and so let's make it a great one it's really interesting you say that because why do you think that we do Kiwi women particularly hold themselves back um, I think that we hold ourselves back for a whole lot of reasons, but I think in, in essence we've lost our sense of place. We really do. But I even find, because I mix in some incredibly capable circles, and even amongst those women, there's still those kind of deep-seated fears, or they, you know, that imposter syndrome that I'm not worth, worthy of this. You know, I'm in the wrong space. You know, I, I can't really achieve this. We kind of work on the back foot all the time. Why you know, do we think? Why do we think that of ourselves? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's it's much more intrinsic to women, much more intrinsic to women to behave like that. You know, like I can't do this. I'm not worth this. Um, it's the wrong time. You know, I've really got to get the kids through. I'm, you know, I've got to be a good wife, I've got to run a house, I've got to do all these things that we kind of feel are sort of on that list first. Um, for me, you know, I've done all those things. I've got two amazing children, I'm married, I'm, you know, run a great company and, you know, and I've contributed to a lot of women um, and a lot of people's lives. And I think, you know, we've got to look at how we can do more and be more. We really do. And that fascinates me, Anna, because based on all of that, you're very successful potentially to some of these girls quite intimidating yeah. so what is it that makes you tap into that and is there something that you're tapping into that we're all missing out on well I don't think I'm intimidating in the prison they've never heard of me right. <laughs> so I think yeah I think that's something that does happen when you achieve this level of profile I, you know and, and success is that people are naturally intimidated by yeah. I, you know and I and I know that but I think for me it is just about how I get alongside women and you, you you can do that in a conference sense and I, I think you know one of the the neatest moments I found myself in was at the Langham a couple of weeks ago when I spoke to a, a large group of migrant women and that was just a surreal space to be in because you know Indian Chinese women they have the same sorts of challenges integrating into mainstream New Zealand you know we're pretty tough we can be pretty bigoted um, you mm -hmm. know we don't let people in and you know there's some delightful surprises in what should be a very culturally diverse country now and you know and I think that if I can lead the charge because there's no one that's more New Zealander than I am um, and there's probably no one that was more bigoted around Maori than I was wow. until I started working you know with Maori and seeing just the, just the wonderful outcomes that come from their culture and you know so I want to stand up and get people thinking differently about the fact that we we need to be this diverse to function well. Mm -hmm. So the Live Life in Colour project, what actually happens at the events? It's really diverse, you know, it's essentially a set of interviews that I'll do. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the concept, then I do an interview with a, um, a raw woman, so what, someone who's really had the courage to change. You know, it's not easy to come into our world um, from and, and you embrace mainstream as we see it, because their world's not so scary to them, ours is. Um, I also work with a small business um, that, that's kind of taken a big step, I mean, because a lot of women get into business and they kind of keep it boxed in this small space. So, you know, 
woman that's taken a sort of a seismic step and done something that a lot of us wouldn't do. And then we kind of do a styling um, session and that's all about getting women to think a little bit more about how they can amplify the way they look. Because let's face it, we all judge each other on the way that we dress, and I, I have, <laughs> sadly, but we do. I have seen the results. I've met somebody who you know has gone through your, um, your course and it was inspiring and I was nearly in tears and I think it's fantastic what you are doing. So really appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. It's, it's good work. It's good to actually work outside the fashion because as much as it's my mainstay and I've been there for 25 years, it's almost a narcissistic space, you know, in the way that, you know, it's all about who's wearing the gear and, you know, I mean, and for me, I just want to do more. I can I imagine that. More. Well, you certainly are doing more. Um, the fashion's great, but what you, else you're doing outside of that is also really great. It's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Anna, thank you so much. And if you'd like more information on the Live Life in Colour events, see annastreeton.co.nz.